Hey everybody, welcome back to another Farm Fact Friday. Of course, it's always a pleasure to be here. For those of you living in Northwest Ohio, I hope you are enjoying the unseasonably warm temperatures that we have today. Um, today I'm taking you inside of the shop area to talk a little bit about tools and maintenance. Now, some of these tools you may have in your garage or um, it, you may have a shop where you have all of these things, but I just want to talk a little bit about the importance uh, of maintenance and why it's so important. So, um, and also before we get into it, this is another area where um, you may not realize your connection with agriculture. So anybody that uh, produces these tools or works in um, stores that offer these tools, you have a direct connection to uh, the ag community. So thank you for providing us with these things uh, that help us not only from a maintenance standpoint, but also help us uh, in times where we really need to get things fixed so we can keep keep going. So I'm going to do a little show and tell at the beginning just to run through some uh, standard tools that we have that are helpful and useful. Um, if you have uh, your own shop or if you're farming and you want to share your favorite tool, I would love to see that. Um, of course, and why it's your favorite. So uh, let's do a little show and tell and then I'll share with you um, a couple favorites that may also be yours. So, uh, so these are a couple different mallets. So a metal mallet and a rubber mallet. And you'll notice, uh, especially there's lots of different sizes of things. Um, if you're talking a big tractor versus you know, um, maybe a garden tractor uh, and the various implements, uh, the intricacies of all of those. So uh, different size tools are generally pretty important. So these are channel locks, as you can see uh, the differences in size and these move back and forth depending on the size of what you're trying to grab a hold of and turn. Uh, here we have a, a ratchet and um, here are your sockets. So depending on what you're trying to move, uh, we have a whole socket set uh, that can fit on this piece here. Then you may be familiar with screwdrivers, but maybe you haven't seen one quite this large. So various sizes there. Look at this cr crescent wrench. So quite larger than most um, and of course the adjustable part of the wrench pry bars when something gets stuck and you need to just get it out of the way and here are a couple different sizes of wrenches so just kind of a quick glimpse into uh, what may be included in the shop now you may be thinking all right why do we have to do all of this maintenance? Why is it important? Well, let's relate it to us as individuals. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but it really is recommended that we get wellness checks every single year. So this involves probably going to the doctor, getting some general labs done so that we can be proactive with our health. On top of that, we wanna make sure that we're, you know, eating healthy and drinking plenty of water and getting some exercise. So. When we do this wellness, we go to the doctor and the doctor kind of looks over everything and maybe has to diagnose us. Well, the similar thing happens with farm machinery um, and all the equipment we use. We rely on mechanics. Now these mechanics may be someone within the farm operation. It may also be uh, external from the farm operation, but people that we are in partnership with like um, a service center at the dealership. So regardless of where this happens it's very important for us to look at the wellness of our um, equipment on a regular basis now some things um, may be required to look at it on a yearly basis wh whereas other things uh, when we're maybe like when we're combining during harvest time we need to be looking over that combine every single day before we get started so uh, if you think about it in terms of our wellness as an individual the tractor needs the same wellness to be proactive, to be preventative. So 
And as we know, we can't uh, predict the future. We don't know the things that could happen to us. Um, so for instance, we could be walking and trip, fall and break our arm. There's no way of knowing that. We can't prevent that from happening. Similar to a tractor. There's no way of knowing when you're gonna get a nail in the tire. So when that happens, you just have to get it fixed and get it done um, in a relatively quick amount of time so that you're not holding up the next steps that need to occur. So um, if you think about it in that, hopefully kind of get a better idea of why uh, maintenance is so important. So we wanna be preventative um, to make sure that things go smoothly when we need those pieces of equipment. The other thing is by being preventative, we may also decrease any chance of using um, or having to submit an insurance claim. Um, so those are just a couple positives about doing the wellness checks or overall maintenance for um, any equipment. Now let's talk about two tools that are very helpful um, in our situation. So the first one is this cordless impact. So um, there are ones that have a cord which are fine to use, but this one makes things much, much easier. So you can make, uh, if you need this to remove something or add something at the field, you can just take this to the field and get it done. Um, in other situations, you, if it was still corded, you may have to bring everything back home to make the fix to get it back to, to the field. So this has been, can I say a lifesaver? Uh, this is just a decreased time, increased efficiencies, made it uh, much, much easier. Not to mention when uh, you have to do things within the shop, uh, you don't have cords laying around. So we have implements, cords, tripping hazard. It could spell really, bit, really bad things happening. So this has made that helpful. Now let me give you an example of how we use this. So this is a shovel, a brand new shovel that goes on the arm of an implement. So you have an arm and then this sits on it with, and then you put in two bolts and attach it with two nuts and it's ready to go to the field to work ground. Now, as you work the ground through acres and acres, this slowly wears away. Um, there's also a chance that if you're in the field and you hit say a rock, uh, you could shear those bolts uh, and then you need to get this um, corrected before uh, you keep working ground. So bring your Im impact to the field, put on a new shovel and you're good to go. So. And the second tool that is very, very helpful is our automatic grease gun. So as I mentioned during harvest time, really important to grease that combine on a regular basis to make sure um, everything, all parts are moving smoothly. Um, so rather than having to manually crank that grease into that area, now you just pull the trigger. So um, increases efficiency, make sure you get it done um, so that we're doing all the preventative measures that we can. So that's all I have today uh, talking about tools and maintenance. If you think about it as wellness as an individual, that tractor needs the same wellness to do everything we can preventatively, um, to keep things going when we need those pieces of machinery and also uh, to minimize any chance for having an insurance claim. Now, inevitably something may happen, um, but if it's something that we can prevent, we certainly wanna go that route. So with that, um, we'll shout out to anybody that works in maintenance and any of our renters out there. We appreciate what you do for the farming industry Anybody that touches these tools before we get them, we appreciate you as well. So with that, have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you learned something new today. Um, have a wonderful weekend, and we'll check you back next week for another Farm Fact Friday. See ya.